to my channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about the, the figures that NECA revealed at New York Toy Fair 2020. And I'm excited about a lot of the figures that they have revealed, you know, a couple of licensings that they have gotten to, you know, like especially like the Jaws. That's probably one I ran the most excited for, you know, they're doing like a retro car figures. But they have confirmed that they're going to be doing like Bruce the Shaw, you know, like Jaws, I guess you could say, you know, they're actually going to be doing him, you know, like in, he's going to be like an end scale piece that will actually be in, within scale of like the uh, 8 inch Brody and you know, Quint Carl figures. So I'm hearing that he's going to even be priced at like a hundred and more. So you can you can tell already the actual jaw shark itself, which is supposed to be released later this year, because them them two are scheduled for September, will actually be part of like a massive like a uh, figure, you know, probably like the size of like I'm hearing some people believe it might be like uh, like the Queen Alien, or I'm betting it might be like a size of like a quarter scale figure, you know, the actual Jaws figure itself. So, but anyway, I, I mean I'm excited about that, you know, that's probably the main one that I'm really I'm excited about. But the other one that kind of surprised me was the idea that they actually are doing like Back to the Future figures too as well. When I saw like the picture of her, like Mark McFly, I like, whoa, I couldn't believe this, you know. <laughs> I like, whoa, that's amazing. And it actually does like Michael J. Fox too as well, so I think that's awesome. And apparently you could tell it's based off like the first uh, Back to the Future and we're going to be getting two figures with them uh, based on the uh, on the, uh, the original film. I think they're inside bring the 35th anniversary of it too, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Now one of the things that was kind of odd about it, they didn't have like a dark figure too as well, you know, like Christopher Lloyd. So I was kind of surprised they didn't show him, you know, because I'm sure they would definitely give us like a dark figure, you know, an Emmett Brown figure. I'm definitely certain that they would do that, you know. And then there's no question, I'm sure they'll have like a DeLorean too, eventually like the car itself. There's no question that we probably will have like the car itself too, but I am definitely excited about the actual Back to the Futures line, like the figures that NECA is doing, so I can't believe that, and they look awesome. So I guess if this is a, a success, they probably give us like a part two, like Back to the Future, and like a part three, so that'd be cool, having a, a Mark McFly figure, like based on part two, and he has like the hoverboard with him, even like the shoes and so on, like the, like the Nike shoes that he was. That would be awesome <laughs> if they could do something like that, you know, and even like the Western one too, like from part three, where he's like, Western, you know, that would be awesome. And they can give us figures like based on those those two other films too as well. But I'm definitely excited about the uh, the Back to the Future line, and I think they said it's going to be released like in the third quarter of this year. So I'll be definitely uh, picking that uh Marty from Fly figure if it really is going to be released. Then I'll definitely be picking that up. And he does have like accessories too as well. I think he has like a book bag and so on. I think like a skateboard if I'm not mistaken. You know, if I, my memory serves me right from the pictures I remember seeing. You know. I know they didn't go into too much detail about it, you know, but the scope for Michael J. Fox, like how, how it looks, you know, it's amazing, like the actual scope, like the likeness to Michael J. Fox, the likeness to Michael J. Fox for the uh, Martin McFly figure, it looks amazing, I am definitely looking forward to picking that up, you know. Now, another thing that interests me, you know, that I'm excited about too, is we're getting like an ultimate, apparently, ghost face figure from like Scream, so I think that's pretty cool that we're going to be getting like an ultimate version of a ghost face too as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that. Now they didn't show anything, but you can see like images of the actual like box itself. So you can still tell that the figures have already been made. They just haven't revealed how it looks, you know. But they're also giving us an 8 inch like retro crop uh, version of Ghostface 2 as well, you know. But yeah, that's another one that I'm definitely interested in picking up. And that's easily, if that is scheduled to be released this year, the actual ultimate Ghostface figure will be one of my most anticipated figures of this year from NECA, you know. Now another thing too they showed too was like some uh, prop replicas based on the uh, 1989 Batman film from Tim Burton. You can see like the, I think like the grappling gun, even like the batarang or so on. And these are actually based on like the, uh, the weapons or gadgets that Batman actually used. And these actually were revealed, you know, at the, uh, and they actually haven't been talking about that or giving too much news or information on it, you know, but you can see that they have replicas based on uh, the 1989 like, Tim Burton Batman film. Now, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing those, you know, because I'm guessing they'll be kind of similar to like the, uh, the Friday the 13th, like Jason, like hockey match, you know, like Freddy Gloves, like replicas to that extent, you know. So that's one of the reasons why I'm definitely excited about those, you know. Imagine having like a replica of the Batarang or like the grappling gun based on the 1989 Batman film. Now that has to be, that has to be awesome, you know. Then another thing they had, they had like replicas based on like some of the gadgets and like weapons and from like the, uh, the animated series, like Batman animated series too as well. So that's another thing that was kind of interesting too as well. And I'd be interested in picking those up. And they also have like weapons based on something like uh, Mr. Freeze, like his Freeze gun and so on. They had those kind of accessories. I think even like Batman Beyond, if I'm not mistaken too, like they had like the Batman Beyond like weapons and stuff too. 
you know, based on the animated series, like replicas, and this is all from NECA. Even I think like Nightwing, like his uh, got scramble sticks too as well, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't think I have really seen anything that's just officially saying what those are about or when they're going to be released and so on. But I'm definitely interested in picking those up too as well, you know. But anyway, those are some of the things that NECA had revealed. And they actually have like a more of like Toonie Terror figures too and like retro car figures. Like they got like a Reagan, like Toonie Terror figure from The Exorcist, you know. Now, if they do like Reagan and Ultimate form, now that I would have been really excited about. Like an Exorcist, like Reagan from, you know, Exorcist, you know. If they did her Ultimate form, I'd definitely pick that up, you know. <laughs> like an Ultimate Reagan figure. Because obviously they do have the license to do like Exorcist figures anyway, you know, just like with the ghost face and so on, you know. So I'm definitely on the side that, you know, that maybe they will do that eventually. That's what I would prefer versus like a Tuning Terry figure. They did like Hatchet too, you know, like the, uh, the Hatchet character. I think Victor Crowley, I think that's what they call his name, or Victor Crowley. He has figures too as well. He has like a retro cloth figure and like a, uh, I think like a, uh, yeah, a tuning, a time, the tuning uh, terror figure, you know. Kind of familiar with that character. I know Kane Harder played him, you know. So I'm familiar with the, uh, the Hatchet like film series. But yeah, that's just some of the things that NECA had shown at the uh, NECA toy fair. And it was like other stuff too, like Ninja Turtles, you know, more alien figures and so on. But I guess the main thing that really stood up was the idea they actually bring in Jaws. I still think it's really kind of exciting me that we're getting like a, Jaws, like figures, you know, and I'm not too big on the retro car figures, but they have confirmed that we will be getting like a Brewster Shark, the Jaws Shark himself, you know, we will be getting that too, like an in scale shark too, so it's gonna be huge, you know. Like I said, I'm, I'm hearing people saying Queen Yelling size, you know, but I won't be surprised if it's like the size of like a, a quarter scale figure, you know, because it has to be within scale, like the eight inch car figures, you know. So that's why I'm betting it's probably that size of like a quarter square figure. And they supposed to reveal this at the uh, San Diego Comic Con. That's when we supposed to be getting our first looks at the Jaws figure, you know. And it's supposed to be scheduled to be released later this year in September too as well, along with them if they do, you know, kind of NECA delays a lot. But anyway, uh, I'm very excited about these figures that NECA have revealed, you know, like Jaws, like Back to the Future and so on. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe to as well.